game I have up in another video. I don't know what time it is right now. I think it's getting close to 8 o'clock. Let me just make sure about that. I'm starting to lose track of time. Actually, it's 7.51, okay? So I was thinking, and I was talking to a few people today, um, two people, two ladies. Um, the one I usually speak to, um, she was telling me about a guy who had a uh, vehicle and it was vandalized. And he, you know, he's not aware that he's a target. And um, a lot of people don't. They don't. They're not aware that they're a target. They don't know exactly the source of the targeting. But you know, luckily I know who my my perps are. Um, and you know, I was thinking how right now, you know, anybody who feels threatened by a person, like for example, I'm assuming this dude had a nice vehicle. I'm assuming he had like maybe a Mercedes Benz or something real you know, luxurious, and maybe his neighbor saw it and got jealous and just wanted to tear the shit out of it, and there you go, you know, and he's him, he doesn't realize that what he owns may be a source of envy for some people, okay, this sort of stuff is, is, is getting out of hand, I mean, people have always done that kind of shit, but, you know, as far as, like, the employment manipulation and all this other stuff, um, it, it's getting out of hand, I used to feel safe, you know, um, I used to feel very safe at work when I was younger. I mean, sure, I was getting bullied and everything else, but, you know, as far as, like, m me, my, I never realized just how corrupt, you know, employers can be. They are extremely unknowledgeable about things that are supposed to make you feel safe, you know, which makes me think, like, you know, just recently they had that whole issue with es uh, experience. Now, I, I'm sorry, but that's probably just some other person who doesn't know what the hell they're doing and doesn't give any thought to any sort of security measures or internal controls, you know what I mean? That's probably what it is. It's as basic as that. And you, you think these companies have, the, this, they run this tight ship, but they don't. You know what I mean? They don't. And that's what's so terrifying about today. What's, what terrifies me so much is that, you know, all of this, like, Orwellian-type stuff, is being played out all the time, you know, and the root of the problem is you got either unqualified people or just downright unscrupulous, you know, so today I was thinking about, you know, um, you know, how I personally think my perps should be paying my bills, they should be paying my bills, I didn't ask to be put in this situation, I didn't ask for any of it, you know, I was basically somebody going to work, minding my own business, and these people descended upon me. Karen Johnson took it upon herself to manipulate my life, control my shit, and follow me and start harassing me. I didn't ask for any of that. Oh, it, it's her excuse is, well, you were standing out because of your hair, or you did, you liked your husband. Well, guess what that really is, okay? It's harassment, is what it is. See, and I remember talking to this general manager many years ago, and he was talking, we were, we were in a three-way conversation, okay? It was at work. And he was talking about how one of his um, old employees accused him of sexual harassment. And you know, he was kind of shrugging it off. And I, I was listening to what he was saying. And I think I just kind of made like a little joke. And then I kind of walked away. Like I was like, oh, wow. You know, I didn't really think about it. But now I think maybe he, maybe this woman really did, ha was sexually harassed by this person. Because his behavior probably didn't realize what he was doing was wrong. You know what I mean? And he, as long as he gets off the hook, he doesn't care about the emotional trauma that this person went through. He doesn't care because he can just shrug his shoulders and go on with his life. But I can rest assured this woman is probably emotionally broken. You know? And that's just the problem. You know, these people don't realize what they're doing. There's specific guidelines that they're supposed to follow, and they ignore them every single time. And once they destroy your life, they are sitting there with absolutely nothing to say. They will wreck your life and walk away. And so that to let you fend for yourself in, in a fucking jungle that they've created. You know? Trying to get yourself out of it. You know? So I want to know, are you going to step up to the plate, Karen, and fix this shit? Because I didn't ask for it. How about you, Steve Murray? Are you going to do something? Are you going to ensure my safety from point A to point B? You know? Because I didn't ask for any of this. You know? I didn't. I didn't ask for any of it. You know, all this shit, I don't want any part of this bullshit. You know, it's your responsibility to fix it, not mine. It angers me to no end. It really does. You know? So I think 
about business and business owners. It's like, do business owners realize what the the liabilities that they're bringing into their company? Do they even care? Are they aware of what their employees are doing? You know, that could really bring them into a lawsuit. Are they aware of that? You know, was it the fact that this particular manager thought that he had some sort of authority so that he could manipulate the future, my future in every single thing that I ever did? Okay, which is really, that's illegal, okay, by the way. So if, if this was sent by via email or whatever, did not one employee say, this is wrong? That's what, that's what boggles my mind. It boggles my mind. Did anybody ever stop to think that what this was, was wrong? And if they didn't, once again, this proves my point, you know? I remember saying, I mean, I have made so many videos about this issue. And it, it still, I mean, I'm sitting here wondering, okay, I need to look for work. And it's very hard to look for work. It's harder for me to look for work right now. It is very, number one, I would say the most, the, the, the hardest part is the mental anguish, the fear, the anxiety of just doing it. You know what I mean? Because all of these people out here that created this mess, I, I don't want to deal with any more trauma. You know? I, I don't. I don't want to deal with it. Okay? All I know is I've been doing the same thing for 20-something years. I don't have any other skills. My, my skills are for the office. I don't have anything else. You know? So what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to be able... I can hardly afford to feed myself right now. How am I going to sit here and be able to move and do things that I need to do? I didn't ask for any of this. I didn't ask to not work in 2015. I was busting my ass trying to find a decent job. You know? So now I'm getting, like, not even the, the right amount of my unemployment insurance because, obviously, I didn't make enough money. You know? And then I get harassed out of that fucking job, which was a joke in the first place. You know? And so I'm sitting here like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do this? You know? Obviously, these people in Bakersfield are doing things against me, so they don't want me here. And I don't really give a shit. I mean, that's fine. If you want me out of town, I'll get the fuck out of the town. That's what I tried to do in the fucking first place. You know? But in all of this bullshit, you know, I was getting harassed over in, in Palm Springs by Greg Barton, who thought it was fucking funny for me to drive fucking three hours down to his fucking place, only to be harassed. And then being followed up by some what's the bitch name, Linda Finkelstein, and all this other bullshit. I don't have time for that. I don't. You know, I don't have time for games. And once again, Linda Finkelstein is supposed to be so great at her job. Why do you get involved in this sort of shit? How, how come? You know? And here I am, somebody who does the right thing, knows how to do my work. And, and why isn't this appreciated? That's what I don't understand. Is what really, it just, it, way, it, ra it just racks my brain every single time. You know? every single time and it is it's, it's extremely emotionally frustrating for me to look for work you know I, I have to sit here and constantly try to push myself to do it because I feel like I'm going to throw up looking at the job ads that's not, a, that's not a fucking joke okay I don't know anybody anymore I really don't you know and I never was the kind of person that would say hey you know can you help me find a job I've never been that kind of person Obviously, people just jumped on my shit and started looking for work for me and then manipulated me and put me in shitty jobs that I didn't want or ask for. You know what I mean? But I've never been the kind of, I don't know anyone anymore. I don't. All the people that I used to know from Facebook, I, 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 they were, to me, acquaintances because it's been such a long time since I've seen them. You know what I mean? I don't have those sort of connections. So it's Karen John, Johnson's issue. It's Steve Murray's issue to fix this shit. I didn't do any goddamn thing. You know what I mean? I never asked to be a part of this. You know what I mean? You put a woman in a very, very tight spot that I never asked to, to be in, and nor did I deserve it. And don't you dare fucking say, oh, because you like your husband. Bullshit. You know what I mean? That's bullshit. That doesn't justify anything, and you know it. Then I'm sure you're going to bring up the religious part. Well, your shit's a cult, Okay. And I have the right to believe what I want to believe, which I believe the right way, okay? So what else is it bullshit? The religion, the fucking lying to my husband. Oh, yeah, the Facebook bullshit. Oh, yeah, that was bullshit right there, okay? 
never, never, never judge shit off of Facebook. You know? Facebook is a fucking lie. You know what I mean? Obviously, you guys have been observing my patterns for the last, I don't know how long. You know? There was a time where I went to a few stores and people were acting as if they knew me. These people were perfect. Okay? Obviously, they know I just go, I mind my own fucking business. And minding your own business is becoming an offensive thing these days. Because if you're not sitting here mingling with your perp, because, you know, they like to keep the enemy close, if you're not mingling with your perp, then, you know, that raises suspicion. But, no, the answer is, like, some people just have other things to do. They're minding their own business. They're going to work, they're coming home, they're focused on their shit. They're not sitting here trying to, you know... They don't think about that. So it's not trying it's not trying to like smite people or, you know, hurt people's feelings. It's just that you don't really think about it. You just got shit to do. You know what I mean? But apparently, you know, people you know, if you do that, well then you're some sort of point of injury and people want to pry into your life. You know? There's really nothing much to say about me other than I'm a woman by myself and I'm into my crap. And I'm a victim of, you know, illegal fucking, uh, illegal gang stalking operation that I didn't ask to be a part of. And the people who've attached themselves with to me are people that I've been trying to get away from. Meaning when I left their places of employment, I didn't want anything to do with them. But for some reason they want to latch on to my ass. Why? I don't know. Get the fuck away from me. Fix your shit. I didn't do anything wrong. You know? Now I'm sitting here trying to figure out how am I supposed to do all this? You know? You leave victim when you do this sort of stuff. Okay? And then you just want to dust your hands off and, off and act like, oh, well, you know, that she'll figure out something. How am I going to figure out something when i got fucking freaks out there that I didn't ask for? You know what I mean? I didn't ask for any of this shit. You know? My fucking family should be stoned to death, and they really should. You know, for all the bullshit they've caused me through the years. Intermingling with, with... My family probably has better relationships with people that I've worked with and my, the associates, um, associates affiliated with my work than I do. Okay? Like, vendors and stuff like that that I, I, I interacted with, that's it. I, 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 after I left the workplace, I never talked to any of these people. I don't have, but I bet you my fucking family does. They know everybody in that loop. They keep a close, you know, they, they're they so close and so close, um, close-knit with these people. These people are stalkers. Wake up, people. Okay? But yet, they know all these people, and I barely know these people. I don't know these people. Okay? I don't know um, the CPA over there, him and Rita. I don't know them. Okay, I would go over there and see them like once every quarter. Okay, but I bet you my family knows them. I bet you my family knows the CPA, uh, Karen's brother, more than I do. Okay, I, I bet you she does. But they do. My family does. Okay, I don't know these people. But they do. They're all up in my business. And that's fucking bullshit. You know, I, I didn't ever ask for any of that, okay? As far as Joel's family, I'm done with them, okay? And I'm done with my family, too. But the fact is, it's like, okay, well, you made this mess, so now what? How are you going to clean it up? Somebody has to be responsible for me, because I didn't ask for any of this shit. I didn't ask for it, didn't want it, do not want anything to do with any of these people, period. You know? Obviously, I don't, you know? If you made a, if you fucking did this terrible damage, you damaged a person. Financially, emotionally, psychologically, every single way you possibly could. You know? You owe me something. You know? And I'm not the kind of person that would sit there and, and, and never have ever asked for anybody to give me anything. I have always been a very proud person. I remember when I was younger, I used to walk back and forth. I used to work, live on the east side of town, and I would walk to the west side of town for my work when I was a young girl. I used to work at a convalescent hospital. Yeah, it was disgusting, okay? But I used to live on the east side, and I, and I worked on the west side. And I could assure you, if I had to get to work, I would walk. Before I started driving, I would walk. And there were times when people were like, hey, you, you need a ride? I'm like, no, that's okay. I'll do it myself. I am not the kind of person to ask people for shit, okay? I never asked any of these people for any of their shit, okay? You took my work, my line of work, 
my goals, my dreams, my aspirations, and you decided to divert my attention, I, I never asked for that. You know? So now I'm fucking 46 years old, I have nothing to my name, and it's not my fucking fault. What are you going to do about it, Karen?